All right, why not do one live? This should be interesting. Apparently Ling has not played any games today, or just has a slow computer, one or the other. I've noticed that your first game takes a lot longer to load than additional games, probably due to uh, some kind of caching or whatever. S uh, settings saved, or you know, you downloaded whatever you need to download for the day. So this is going to be a live cast. Protoss vs Zerg. My opponent will be Ling, apparently. Hopefully this doesn't lag me too badly. Usually it doesn't. Not with Devex anyway. Yeah, spam. Spam makes you a good player, even though my APM is like ludicrously low right now. In fact, I only have one hand on the keyboard. <laughs> uh, let's not get into that in a live game. <laughs> Got a live one here. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and scout early. This tries to prevent any six pull action from happening on me. If I see it, well, I'll just destroy it with the zealot by chrono boosting the zealot out early. Yeah, I don't wall off early. Um, I find it actually easier to defend a six pull without walling off, so. I generally won't do it. Now, I will wall off eventually, and, you know, once the Azurg can have speedlings and can start doing legitimate run buys a little bit later in the game, you kind of have to wall off or you're going to get your probe line just screwed over by something stupid. So, there, there is that issue to contend with, but really, it's not too bad. Like, if they six-pulled me, this will be up in time. I can chrono boost, fight with, like, four probes, and easily win. Easily. I don't see a lot of six pulls anymore, though. Oh, we are getting drone scouted. So just keep pumping our own probes here. Yeah, let's get this up here. Is he mining my mineral patches? How dare he? What a resource for. <laughs> Although that is used to... Um... Let's just do something like this. He's attacking my pylon. Don't be a douche. Um, yeah, let's just get that going. Should probably not have built another pylon there. Thinking a little too much about my live stuff. And he went fast expansion. Looks like late pull too, so that's good for me. Well. Good for me in that I'm not defending myself, <laughs> so I should probably do so. What is this? Like this? There we go. More probes. I am slipping, slipping, slipping. Alright. Okay, just all he's doing. It's fine. One more gateway. I don't have the minerals for it yet. Should probably have put a hold position zealot already. Well, let's sneak a gateway out first, and then we'll do that. How am I in probes? I do need a couple more. He yeah, is getting gas. I don't see roaches for him yet, although he could have them in the expansion, it's unlikely. I'm gonna we'll start on zealot production now. Oops, let's get all four of these going. Now, I'm going to start cutting probes in favor of <laughs> of military here. Uh, this is pretty much my one base all-in that I've been doing uh, in some of my previous casts. And it's just uh, <laughs> to screw over the Zerg, basically. They don't have anything to stop it most of the time. And it is something I, uh, I've heard Idra once say he scouts to make sure that they're not doing some Zealot and Stalker all-in. Yeah, see, especially for fast expand zerg, but even if they don't, there's just no friggin' way they're going to get speed links before you can wall off, even if you don't wall off with your starting pylon. So that is a one very effective way to block a six pull. And now I'm just gonna sack another probe to um, take a look at things. I'll train another zealot. I go there and there. I want to see if he's investing in spines or whatever. And yeah, mostly when you're doing this attack, you're just going to want to... Uh, well, off one geyser, just get enough to make your uh, stalkers. Oop. Got a scout coming on me here. Uh, he's seizing everything he needs to see, unfortunately. And yeah, really good at supply locking myself. Lings is probably droning up. 
I didn't even see a spine crawler investment, although if he has any sense at all, he's going to do that to compensate for my uh, supply error. Oh man, that's so bad. How could I do that to myself? Yeah, these stonkers are mostly just anti-roach. The yeah, meat of this army is uh, zealots. <laughs> anyway, he's up. He's pushing up there, taking a look-see at things. Nothing too fancy, though. And I recently beat a Zerg in the top 10 of Diamond with this. So this is a pretty obnoxious strategy. I mean, it's all in. There's no doubt about it. This is completely and utterly all in. <laughs> kind of a cheese play. Kind of. I guess I could adjust out of it if I scouted well or something. But, you know, my suspicion is, based on what I saw, that he's just droning up with uh, some... He's probably starting to put up some defenses, so, you know, seeing the foregate and starting to fear for his life, but I'm really not too worried about it. If I lose, it'll be the first time I've lost with this in a while, so we'll, we'll see what happens. And yeah, now we're just going to go all zealot. I have probably more than enough stalkers. You know, he's going to start spine crawling like crazy. Sometimes I'll peek out with a zealot and uh, just kill the lings that they leave with one zealot before pushing out. Although they usually figure that I'm pushing out anyway when I do that. You must construct additional yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, thank God. I mean, you only killed one stalker. Definitely want to lead with zealots. <laughs> I want too many stalkers, actually. Oh, no, maybe not, since he did go roaches. Alright. Now just focus the roaches, with the stalkers, zealots can attack move. Yeah. <laughs> People underestimate the potential behind this. Alright. <laughs> that's uh <laughs> that's the stupid four gateway all in. That works on Zerg pretty well in the upper tiers of diamond lately. Way more than it should, honestly. That just works too well. We'll see. This guy might be a platter or something, but most of my opponents lately have been diamond. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Masters. Um, he's only uh He's only 32 rank, so he's not the best Zerg I've beaten with this, but it's pretty nasty, as you can see. That was a fairly one-sided fight. <laughs> Flash one of these. But alright, that takes care of that live game. I'll see you guys in the next part, or next video. Thumbs up if you liked this one. Me and team signing off.